In this video, let's take a look at how to find out how many um, in poker, so in a 52 deck card, if you're gonna be choosing five cards, how many of those um, are or can be uh, four of a kind. So four of a kind that you have, so that means that you would take, okay, so you would choose your five cards, and it would turn out that four of them are of exactly the same kind. So it could be, you know, possibly all four aces, four kings, uh, queens, and, and so on. So if you stick to um, uh, one particular okay, kind, you know that what you're doing is, well, to, to get four of a kind, and let's say if there's only four cards, then you would have four, okay, let's say there's four aces, and you actually wanna choose all of them, right? Which is really gonna just happen once um, throughout. Now, this uh, four choose four, okay, that we have is uh, based on, okay, so now how many kinds are there? Well, there are 13 different kinds, right? So there's aces, there's twos, threes, four, fives, all the way up to the king. So there's 13. So you can choose 13, choose one, okay, of that. So that there is, you know, one particular kind. And if you choose that, so that there are, so this is how many kinds there are, okay, within here. And then here, you're basically taking four, okay, of the same kind, of the same kind. So we have to, we have to multiply those through to be able to get, okay, out of those four cards, how many possibilities, how many combinations there are. Now that leaves us still one card. Now that particular card, well, if we have, you know, initially had 13, well now we only have 12, right? So 12 choose one, okay, in terms of um, the other kind that you would get. So let's say if you had aces, so four aces, so maybe the other one might be a king or a queen or something like that. But now how many, you know, kings are there? There's again, four of them. So this would have been times four, you know, choose one of them. So there, there are still 12 kind remaining. Once you pick one of them right here, you need all of them to show up for you. And then you have only 12 kind remaining, but of course those 12 have four cards. So there's four of the kind within. So, you know, four twos, four threes, and so on. And now you can multiply all of that to be able to get how many combinations in total are there if you wanted to have four of a kind. And if you're thinking about probabilities, then again, you would simply divide, okay? So that would have been divided by 52 choose five because there's a deck of 52 cards and you're choosing five of them. So that is the total number of combinations throughout. And if you take this and divide it by that, you'll get what the probability is. But the hardest part is, is trying to figure out how many combinations there are, okay? So that's four of a kind for you. Now, the other one that I wanna be able to do in this video is a full house. So with respect to a full house, well, what is a full house? Well, full house means that you have three of a kind and then you have two of the same kind. So now walking along and trying to see how many combinations of those we have, Okay, we will walk along the same path. So first is, you know, how many kinds there are. There's 13 different kinds. So again, just like in the previous example, so 13 choose one means that you're gonna be choosing one of those kinds. And then you're going to, from one of those, right? So let's say if it was aces, well, you have four total aces and you can only choose three of them if we want a full house, right? So four choose three means that we're choosing three of those and how many combinations in total are there for that? So we have how many total combinations are there in terms of all the different kinds? Well, there's 13, okay? And out of those 13, okay, each one that you pick, okay, has four choose three combinations. And now for this one, okay, for the two of the kind, well, now you only have 12 
remaining because you have chosen one of them already. So you have 12 choose one, and that would be multiplied by, now when you choose one of them, so let's say if it was jacks, as you see there, well, we have four jacks, but we're only choosing two of them. So that's how many combinations you would have of the jacks, okay? That's how many different remaining kinds there are once you pick one of them, okay, right here. And now we have to multiply all of this to be able to get what the total number of combinations is. So again, so this is, okay, so how many in total do you have? Okay, well, there's 13, okay? Once you pick one of them, okay, you're only picking three, okay, of a kind, because we want a full house. Then you have only 12 kind still remaining. And then once you pick them, you only want two of them because in total we have five cards and we want a full house, which is a three, okay, paired up with a pair. All right, so this is just two of a kind. And that would actually um, give you the total amount. So that's the full house. And if you want probability, once again, you can take this and then divide it by 52 choose five. All right, so this is the total number of combinations. And again, it's a great exercise for any student studying combinations to be able to walk themselves through this. It's not easy to do, you know, a full house or even, you know, four of a kind, okay, utilizing the combinations. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. I hope this was helpful. Bye, everybody.